Back to the 2A State Volleyball Championships. Jim Murphy's our cameraman. Taylor Gross is on the graphics and the engineering. I'm Corey Allen Ford. Hope you enjoyed our coverage so far. It's match number four of the morning. Another winner here moves on to the semifinals this afternoon. We already have three semifinal slots set up. Lutheran and Akron. Akron a 3-0 win over Rye. Lutheran a 3-0 win over Resurrection Christian. And our third semifinalist is Simla. In their first year back in 2A since 2009, they beat Fowler three games to none. We're ahead of everyone else here today, which is very nice. We're already in our fourth match. It's Swink with a record of 23-2 for Coach Heath Grantham. Winners of the Santa Fe League against the Paonia Eagles from the Western Slope. A record of 23-4. They won the Western Slope crown by two games over Vail Mountain and Rangeley. The Eagles against the Lions. And the winner gets Simla in the semifinals later on this afternoon. Our officials are making sure everything's ready to go. We have got our rosters in front of us. Sarah Tatum will serve first for Swink. They're on the left side of your monitor. Maroon uniforms, white and black. White uniforms, red and black for Paonia. And right now in control of it is Swink. And here comes the first hit attempt. It's a big hit by Lindsay Tatum and dug out but knocked out of bounds on the return and it's one nothing Lions. Heath Grantham will pace in front of his bench the entire match. He'll have a trench there by the end of it. The way he coaches his team. one to nothing Lions with a lead over the Eagles and another hit. This time it's long and out of bounds by Morgan Hartigan for coach Krista Karsten and Paonia. 2 nothing Lions on the lead here in game one. Sarah Tatum, a co-captain on the team with a service ace as it's knocked out of bounds. 3-0 Swink. They had to go five games to beat Sangre de Cristo yesterday. Paonia only had to go three games. That's the first time Swink has been taken five in a while. They lost only four sets and 22 wins before yesterday. And there's another service ace for Tatum. 4-0 Swink and timeout Coach Karsten. And the Eagles of Paonia from the Western Slope. College in Colorado, one of our sponsors of our coverage on Chassis.Television. Colorado in Colorado.org. And help your students create a lifelong plan and explore their dreams for the future. It's College in Colorado.org. State championship coverage also brought to you in part by Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance. Well, they'll be there the day you buy that first car. My son will be experiencing that soon. The day your first child is born, been there four times, and the day you file your first claim. We'll be there to make sure your insurance coverage keeps you up with all the changes in your life. Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, get real coverage. 4 nothing start for Swink and the timeout by Paonia. Sarah Tatum with two service aces thus far and a good start for the Lions, who do not want to go five today if they don't have to. Get ready for Simla. Here's the hit, dug out by the Lions on their side of the court. Another Tatum with a big hit, dug out by Paonia. Hardigan with the hit, dug out by the Lions. And back and forth they go, Tatum down the line. Lindsay with the kill and the point for Swink, and it's 5 to nothing Swink. Kill for Lindsay, two service aces for Sarah. 5 nothing to Lions. Paonia scrambling to get something going. Here's a hit cross court dug out by the Lions in the back row. That was Easton Hartigan. And it's tipped over into the open area. Another point for the Lions. Six to nothing lead. Everything they're doing right right now the Swink Lions who lost last year in the semifinals to Akron. Three games to none. Would like to get back there this year and would take on Simla if they do. And the point down the line back corner is good. Sierra Karsten, who was an outstanding basketball player when I did the 2A state championships last year in Pueblo. She gets credit with a kill, and it's 2-1. to one. Her first kill for her mom, Krista, coaching the team, and her sister on the team as well. Here's Tatum, knocks it over, dug out by Paonia. Here's their chance for a kill. They tap, blocked at the net by Maddie Stewart. The opportunity again, big hit. It stays on the Paonia side. They're able to bump it across. Here's the bump, the set, the hit, and it goes long. 
Heather Estrada with the hit for Swink that goes long. Heath Grantham wants to know why that was not called out of play. And it's 6-2. to two. Swink 6 nothing lead, down to 4. Here's the hit for Tatum, and it's short into the tape, 6-3. to three. Sierra Karsten on serve for the Eagles. Those white uniforms. And hits the top of the tape. She tried to go cross court from the middle of the court to the right front corner. Unable to do it. 7-3 Swink and on serve. From another Tatum to another one. This one's Lindsay. Lindsay on the serve. Free ball opportunity coming for Swink here. Bumped up in the air by Sarah Tatum. Here's the bump set at the net. The hit long. Taken by 16, Leah Roberson. Out of bounds it goes, and it's 7-4. Swink, Peonia on serve. Hardigan with a jump serve. Back row, Stewart knocks it up in the air. Here's Roberson, dug out. Set. Great dig by Swink in the back row, right along the tape, and it stays on the Swink side. Big hit taken by Morgan Hardigan. She'll get the kill, and it's 7-5. to five. Second kill for Peonia, the other one to Karsten. At the net, tipped back over. Swink with the opportunity, and they'll free ball it back to Peonia. Chance for the point here to cut a, what it was, a six-point lead to one. Cross court, too far and out of bounds. Swing taken there by Taylor Karsten. And it's 8-5, Lions. Substitution coming into the game. Taylor Holland, number two. Replacing Maddie Jackhart. Her brother was a big player at the Walsh basketball team last year after playing at Swink for a couple of years. He's seven-plus feet. And that ball is hit into the net by Tatum for Swink. And it's the point for Peonia, and it's 8-6. to six. Easton Hardigan, a sophomore 5 7 will serve for the Eagles. High floating rainbow serve. Bumped up on the air. Shoot set. Big hit. Long it goes. Hit taken by Roberson, but did not get her wrist snap. And the ball goes long and a point for Peonia, and it's 8-7. So after a 6-0 lead, Peonia is pecked away and now within a point of tying here in game one. Here's the set. Stewart takes the hit and rams it down. Madison Stewart, one of the captains on this team, gets her first kill. Came into the tournament leading the team in kills and has her first one. It's 9-7 Lions. Jocelyn Gallegos on the serve. And the kill put down by number 16, or Abby Campbell that is, for Peonia. 9-8. She was also an instrumental player on that basketball team that made it to state last year in Class 2A. For Peonia. And the serve goes long. 10 to 8 Lions. Lions cheerleaders down below us. Along with their fans standing. They have not sat down at all. Roberson the serve. Here's the set. Big swing and down the line it goes. Sierra Karsten gets her second kill. 10 to 9. So after the early big start for Swink, Peonia just hanging around. 10 to 9 now here in game one. Roberson bumps it up to the setter. Sarah Tatum tipped over by Stewart. On her knees, able to pop it up as Peonia back to the Swink side. Opportunity for the free ball here. Here comes Stewart. Block down. Campbell. Morgan Hardigan on the double block, and we have our first tie in game one, 10-10. Free ball opportunity for Swink. Tatum tries to swing it across on a slam dink. Hardigan slams it down from the right side. First lead of game one for Peonia on Morgan Hardigan's second kill. And it's 11-10, Eagles. And the serve for Peonia. Here's Tatum. Sets up Stewart. Dinks it over the top of the two blockers. Looked like she was going to hit it. Then changed her mind in midair and able to just to 
knock it over, and it's the second tie we've had here. It's now 11-11, swink on serve. Substitution, Holland comes out. Jack Hart in on the left front. Madison Stewart, who went down with an injury last year for swing in the state tournament. As the ball goes off the block, Hart again again with another kill for Peonia. And they retake the lead at 12-11. They do a little foot dance out there after every kill. Stewart bumps it up. Here's Tatum back setting the front line. Big hit and down for Maddie. Jack Hart. She gets her first kill. And we're tied at 12. Sarah Tatum will be back to serve on first rotation complete. She serves for the second time. Started off with six straight points. Good serve. Dug off on the floor. Nope. Double hit call by the chair official and the standing official that is in the tower and that would be Ava Bear of Lamar 13 to 12 here's the shoot set big smack and down for Campbell actually that's Easton Hardigan with the hit and the hit was long and it's 14 to 12 Tatum the serve she had six right off the bat and now working away again and just touched over the net. Nobody moved for Swink. Nice job by Sierra Karsten just to loft it over the net and down into the empty space and it's 14-13. Spins the ball. Now fires it up over herself. Knocks it over the net. Here's the bump. Back row hitting is Stewart. She'll half volley it. Back set for Hardigan. Hardigan goes cross court. Stewart bumps it up front to the center. Here's Tatum with a back bump set. Too far on the hit by 15. Lindsay Tatum. Out of bounds it goes. We're tied at 14. Karsten on serve. Little floater serve. Sliding digs for Swink. Free ball opportunity for Peonia. The hit taken and long it goes. Carson Taylor didn't have much on it. Just tried to float it over and get it right in the back row on the line and not able to do it. Roberson comes back into the match, replacing Chahira. The libero for Swink. And it's 15-14. Lions the lead in the serve. Lindsay Tatum on the serve. Bumped up by Hardigan and shoot it right over the top by Karsten. Sierra looked like she was going to shoot set it and then changed and just flicked it across the top of the block of Swink. Harmlessly it falls on the Lions side of the court. We're tied at 15. Hardigan on the serve and pounded on the Swink side. Dug out here. Big hit. Double block at the front by the Lions. Jackert and Estrada with the double block for the Lions and it's 16-15. Five ties here in game one after Swink started off with a 6-0 lead. We're at 16-15. Holland on the serve for the Lions. The Eagles respond. Dug out on the Lions side. Free ball opportunity. Chance for the point. Stewart goes cross court. Hardigan bumps it in the air. Campbell saves it. Back bumped onto the Lions side. Here's Robertson. Stewart over the top of the block. Sliding dig. Tap back over. Lions have it in control again, but a... Lift is called on Peonia. And a two-point lead for Swink at 17-15. And Taylor Holland will continue on serve. High rainbow floater into the back row. Shoot it across by Karsten. Swink red at that time. Stewart goes over the top of the block. Great sliding dig by Hardigan and Campbell. Here's a double block again at the net. Estrada and Roberson again. 18-15. Swink by three. Holland still on serve in game one. Match four here on Saturday. The winner goes on to the semis, which start at 2 o'clock. Stewart gets the opportunity. Bumped up in the air by Sierra Karsten. Double blocked again. 
They're making a life of that right now here on the left front. Robertson and Estrada. Third time in a row, and it's 19-15. Swink by four in game one. Free ball opportunity for the Lions here. Tapped over. Joust is one by Peonia. Slammed back down by Roberson. And now Karsten hits it into the net. 20-15. to 15 And Swink, after it was tied at 15, has scored the next four. Lead it 20-15. to 15. Check that the next five. Did not get a math degree. 20-15. Here's Campbell. Overpass by Swink, but able to control it out of the Lions. Here's Madison Stewart with a hit. Cross court in the back row and a winner. And the Lions have forced the Eagles to talk about it. Six in a row for Swink. They lead game one. 21-15 over Peonio when we come back to the State Volleyball Championships at the Coliseum on Chasa.tv. We continue in the circus call of the State Volleyball Championships here under the big top of the Denver Coliseum. Five courts going at once. It's kind of like what wrestling is in February. But it's volleyball right now. And Swink with six in a row, and they lead 21-15 over Peonia in game one of this winner. Move on to the semifinal matchup. Stewart double blocked at the net on the far side. Campbell. And Taylor Carson on the double block for Peonia, and they get the ball back after the point. Down 21-16, and here comes Easton Hardigan on the serve. And tries to float it over and misses completely as it lands on her own side. Bad miss on that serve, and it's 22-16. Swink on serve. Leading it by six. Three points away from winning game one. Great dig in the back row by Holland. And then a double hit here by Tatum, who's not able to control the pass after a great dig in the back row. Gives the ball back to Peonia after the point, 22-17. Taylor Karsten on the serve. Floats it over. Sliding dig. Stays on the net. Stewart then taps it down. Stewart with the credit for the dink. And the point, 23-17. Here's Stewart after the serve, bumps it up. Free ball opportunity for Peonia. 22-18, they do not give them the point. It was wiped off and given to Peonia, saying that Swink was in the net. Here's Robertson, bumped up by Karsten on the Peonia side. Sets up Carson Pfeiffer. She's dug out by Swink. Punched across and a lift called on Swink. And it's 22 to 19. So instead of being 23-18 and with the ball, that lift two in a row have now given Peonia some extra breaths. And now Roberson hits it long and it's 22 to 20. After Swink started off with a 6 to nothing lead. We had five ties, the last at 15. And now it's not 22 to 20, it's 23-19. I wish they would make up their mind when they're pointing which direction. They give it back to Swink, and say that Peonia had a net violation. And now the hit is missed completely in the back, middle back by Morgan Hardigan. And it's 24 to 19, and now Swink is one point away from winning game one. Roberson, a high serve into the back row. Hardigan bumps it up. Here's the set for Sierra Karsten who tries to tap it over. Swink reads it. Chance to win it right here as Stewart half volleys it. Dug out. 
Big hit from the side here on the left, and that was Carson Pfeiffer, and she gets her first kill. Point for Peonia. And they preserve themselves right now. They're out trailing by four. Pfeiffer, a junior at 5'5". Five five. Back behind the line to serve for the Eagles. Good dig there by Holland. Sets up Stewart. Goes off the double block. Bumped up. Saved by Peonia. Chance for the point. Running start. Big hit. Dug out by Gallegos for Swink. Another chance for Sierra Karsten with a big hit. Bumped up, saved by Swink. Free ball opportunity for Peonia. 24-20, Swink, shoots set in the middle. Campbell, great sliding dig by Gallegos on her knees. Stewart, able to get it across somehow. Had to cut the shot from the left front to the right front for Peonia, holding her hand on the tower. And the ladder over there on the pad and was somehow able to cut it enough that it went right along the net for the win. What a great shot by Maddie Stewart and the victory for Swink. Game one, Lions 25-20 over the Eagles. Game two when we come back in one minute on TV in the 2A State Volleyball Championships. Back to the Coliseum. I'm Corey Ellen Ford. Glad you're with us on the Chassis.tv and our state volleyball coverage. Viero, they offer the best coverage around 4G. It's now here and it's fast. Find out about it from Viero.com. Viero Wireless, part of our sponsorship on Chassis.tv. Crop Production Services wants to wish all area athletes good luck in their pursuit of a state championship. Remember to call Crop Production Services for all your fertilizer, chemical, and seed needs. Crop Production Services. That's a freebie for you, Crop Production Services. I just noticed that you weren't part of this pool, but nonetheless, you got a freebie right there. Thanks for being a sponsor of our coverage no matter what. The opening served by Paonia. The hit taken by 15. That would be Lindsay Tatum. And it goes for a point for the Eagles, and Peonia starts off game number two with a 1-0 lead. Swink won the first 25-20, starting off that game with a 6-0 edge, holding off Peonia 25-20, and Stewart takes a hit from the middle back. Into the net it goes, and it's 2-0 Eagles to start game two. Much to the happiness of Krista Karsten, head coach for Peonia. Her daughter is on serve, Sierra. Stewart will hit it over the top of the block. Now the set far side. Taylor Karsten, Sierra's sister and the other daughter of the coach, takes a swing. Dug out my swing. Here's another opportunity. Campbell goes off the block of Maddie Jackhart for the point. Campbell gets the kill. That's Abby. Check that. That's Easton Hartigan, number 14. My bad. And the point, 3-0 Peonia. Big hit taken here on the near side by Jack Hart, dug out. Sliding dig by Stewart in the back row for Swink on the return. Peonia with another opportunity, leading it 3-0, trying to get another point. Up the block and down. 
for Taylor Karsten. 4 nothing start for Paonia and timeout swing. Heath Grantham did not like what he saw, so he takes a break. 4 nothing Paonia game two. Swink won the first. The winner gets similar in the state semifinals. We come back to the Coliseum in one minute on TV. Back to Volleyball Palooza. 2A continues here at 4 0 Paonia and a tap over by number 12. Matty Jackhart is good. That'll get Swink on the board after the timeout, much to what Heath Grantham wanted after that break, and it's 4 1. Lions have the serve after winning the first game 25 20. Here comes Karsten setting up her sister, and her sister takes a big rip at it, dug out by Stewart. Now they'll set here on the near side, and Lindsay Tatum goes into the block, and the block return is out of bounds. Point swing. Well, Lindsay Tatum gets her first kill of game number two. Had a couple in that first game. Here's the back bump, tapped over and out of bounds. Hardigan tried to just push it across, and it's spun over the net, out of bounds, and it's four to three, just like that. The serve, the bump, into the block, and a kill for Hardig Cardigan. Karsten, that is. Taylor, number 10, with the kill for Paonia. Her second here early on in game two. And it's 5-3. to three. Here's Sierra setting up number 11 in the big swing by Carson Pfeiffer. Finds this open spot on the swing side, and it's 6-3, to three, Eagles. So they're taking advantage of killing the ball with regularity here. There's a big hit by Jackhart, dug out by Campbell and company, and Campbell, or Easton Hardigan that time, gets the kill for Paonia, and it's 7-3. Well, they're not messing around here at all in game two. Here's the serve. Ace serve in the back row. Morgan Hardigan on the ace to go along with two kills. And it's eight to three in favor of Paonia. Hardigan again. Stewart bumps it up. Here's Tatum to Tatum. Tatum takes a rip at it. Lindsay missed it long back. And it's nine to three, Paonia. Not doing anything extra special, kind of letting Swink make their own mistakes right now. And there's a jump serve that goes way long. Out of play, 9-4 on the missed serve. Back to Swink and the serve. And it'll belong to Lindsay Tatum in her maroon uniform with white trim. White numerals and black trim around those numbers. 9-4, and the hit taken on the left side front. By Carson Pfeiffer is into the bottom of the net. 9 to 5. First game, it was Swink up 6 to nothing, and Paonia kept chipping away. And finally, there was five ties. The last was at 15 before Swink went on to win 25 20. Block get the net by Stewart, but out of bounds. Campbell hit it at an angle, or Easton Hardigan hit it at an angle that forced Stewart try to block it back, and it goes out of bounds on the deflection, and it's 10 to 5, Paonia. Hardigan has. Three kills here in this second game, and then the serve goes out of bounds. Go right back to Swink at 10 to 6. Taylor Holland, freshman at 5'10, listed as a setter and a designated server, has that knuckleball go right over. Punched up at the net, slammed back down by Roberson. 
Peonia is able to control it. Now it's on the swing side. Chance for the point here. Back set. Hit taken by Estrada. Dug out by Peonia. Now to the middle of the court. Campbell with a big rip at it. Bumped up by Lindsey Tatum. Now punched over by Taylor Holland. Here's the punch set on the far side. Blocked at the net. Four hits is the call on Peonia as they were not able to get it over. Point for Swink, and it's 10 to 7. And that's a rip there and a great serve. Saving it. Back fisting it onto the Swink side. Great dig by Sierra Karsten and company, and then gets back onto the court as Stewart takes a swing. Goes off Sierra Karsten out of bounds. Point Swink. Stewart's first kill of game two. And it's 10 to 8. And Holland continues to serve. Another good serve. Bumped up by Pfeiffer. Campbell this time pounds it to the ground on a cross court. From the left front to the right back in front of the sprawling Holland. And it's 11 to 8. Abby Campbell with her first kill here in game number two. On the serve, here's the set, the punch, and down it goes for Roberson. Roberson gets the kill, her first of game two. Gallegos into the match to serve for Swink. Peonia leads game two, 11-9. After losing game one to the Lions, 25-20. The winner gets Simlin, the state semis at 3.30 this afternoon. The hit taken by... Sierra Karstens, great dig in the back row by Holland. Peonia flicks it up to the front. Nobody is there. Great dig by Karsten. Morgan, or I should say, Taylor tried to get it to sister Sierra. And Sierra was not there. It's 11 to 10. Peonia by one. Gallegos tried to float it over and it hit the bottom part of the net. Tried to gamble and just floated over, not able to do it, and it's 12 to 10. Back to the Eagles. Holland bumps it up front, back set by Sarah Tatum, bumped over on the Pionio side. The Eagles with it to the Lions, and now tapped over the block. Good by Stewart. 12 to 11, Pionia. Maddie Stewart with a nice little dink right over the top of the two blockers here on the right side. Stewart punches it over. Bump from the back row to the setter. Here comes Sierra Karstens in this solo blocked by Leah Roberson. Not this time, she says. Roberson gets a big block, and we have a tie in our match. The first here in game number two. Five in game number one. Karsten got a miss hit. And a lift is called by the chair official, and it's 13 to 12. Swink has their first lead here in game two. Madison Stewart on the serve. Gallegos with a good dig. Stewart to Tatum. Tatum knocks it over the pay on your side. Free ball opportunity. Back set at the net, left front. Blocked at the net, out of bounds, way out of bounds. Past the scoring table it goes. Mom gives daughter a high five. Nonetheless, it goes as a point for Swink. Stewart with the serve. Two-point lead for the Lions in game two after winning game one. Tip over the net. Lions with the chance. Here's Tatum from Tatum. Dug out by the Eagles. Big hit. Campbell in the back row, and it lands in front of the sprawling Holland. Her second kill of game two. And it's 14-13. Abby Campbell with the serve. Stewart will bump it up for the Lions. Here's a double block at the net on the attempt by Tatum. Saved by Swink. Stewart tries to go. Roberson tries to go down the line, and it goes out of bounds. Point, Peonia. Tie game, 14-14 in game two. Campbell. Peonia back to the swing side. Tatum into the block and down. Hardigan, Karsten here on the left front. 
with the double block. Peonia retakes the lead, 15-14. Stewart on the pass up front. Here's the bump to Tatum from her sister. Dug out by the Eagles. And blocked straight down. Nope, four hits. Peonia was not able to get it across. Roberson went up and slammed it straight down, but the ball had not gotten over the tape, says Ava Bear, our chair official. And we're tied for a third time at 15. Roberson to serve. Karsten wanted to take a swing at it as the setter. Got underneath it and hits it into the net. 16-15. In game two. Swink won the first. 25-20. Here's Karsten at the net. Tap back down by Swink. Right back to the line side. Free ball opportunity. Tatum will just... Tip it across. Back set at the net. Hardigan takes a big swing and finds the back row. Easton Hardigan. Her fourth kill. And we're tied at 16. Here comes the serve for Sierra Karsten. For Peonia. Tatum to Tatum. Dug out back row by the Eagles. Karsten floats it back over to the swing side. Tatum tried to slam dink it. Dug out in the front row by Hartigan. Here's a double block at the net. Sprawling on the floor was Gallego said. Tatum. They knock it out of bounds on their side, and it'll be a point for Peonia, and the Eagles have retaken lead at 6-17-16. Karsten on the serve. Sprawling digging attempt. And another tie as Swink is able to put it down for the point. Gallegos comes out. Chahura comes in. The Libero with the black uniform for Swink. 17 all tie. In game two. Here's a double block at the net. Jackart Estrada. For Swink and the point. Tatum with a serve. Too far on the pass. Tip back over. What do we have? We have Peonia over on the Swink side of the net. Point for the Lions. It's 19-17. Much to the chagrin of Krista Karsten who's not happy with the call on the floor. 19-17. Lions by two. Swing pass from Taylor Karsten. They'll set right side. Dug out by the libero for Swink. And then Jack Hart takes a rip at it. Right into the face of Taylor Karsten. And it's 20-17. And we have a timeout on the floor. And Peonio doesn't like what they see. After it was tied at 15... Swink has scored five of the next seven points, and they lead it by three in game two. Already lead the match one game to none when we come back on Chasa.tv in the Colorado State 2A Volleyball Championships from the Coliseum. We come back to action, 20 to 17. Here's the set in the middle. Tatum has to tip it over with her left hand because the pass is almost too far and it's hit into the net by Peonia. And Swink starting to inch closer to that second game victory. It's 21 to 17. Sarah Tatum still on serve for the Lions and Coach Heath Grantham. Bumped up by Campbell. Here's Karsten setting her sister, blocked at the net. Off the deflection, Campbell. Dug out by Swink. They'll set the net. Tatum goes over the net. Dug out by Peonia. Their opportunity. Swink now with a free ball chance as they dig it. Tatum is blocked at the net and the point for the Eagles. 
Morgan Hartigan, Easton Hartigan, the two sisters, Para sisters on this Peonia team with the double block. 21-18. Morgan on the serve, Hartigan that is, and the pass is too far and pounded down by Sister Easton. Stewart's pass from back row was right on top of the net. It was just like a set for Easton Hartigan, and she sat right on it and pounded it home. Sister with the serve. That would be Morgan. Joust at the net, one by Swink. Back to the Paonia side, and in the net. Underneath the net is called Taylor Karsten, 1-0. And the point for Swink at 22 to 19. Break for them, and here's the point. And here's the serve that is for Lindsey Tatum. Jackhart, back set Tatum. Stewart takes a swing at it, not a full swing, and it's dug out. And here's a big swing taken on the far side by Carson Pfeiffer, and it goes out of bounds off the back row of the Carson or the Swink defense. And it's 22 to 20. Easton Hartigan with a chance right now. Two-point game. Swink the lead after winning game one. The tip was not there as Jack Hart did not get there in time, and it falls harmlessly to four on her side, and now it's a one-point game at 22-21. Chance for another tie, and it is going to be another tie as it goes off the libero. Chahura out of bounds, 22-22 in our first tie since 15 all. Fourth in game two. Pumped up front, here's Stewart right over the top of the block, punched up by Campbell. They set up Karsten who dumps it over the block and down. 1-8-3, Peonia and a timeout swing. So Swink had the lead at 20 to 17 at the last time out. Built it to 21-17. And Peonia's come right back to take the lead at 23 to 22 here in game two. As we mentioned earlier, Lutheran defeated Resurrection 3-0. Akron defeated Rye 3-0. They'll play in the next match, which will be a semifinal match at 2 o'clock. Simla defeated Fowler three games to done. And Simla plays the winner of this. Pool 2 winner. Take all in the semifinal at 3.30. In Class 3A, Valley and St. Mary's were winners earlier. St. Mary's over University, 3-1. Valley over Holy Family, 3-0. Right now, it's Gunnison and Bayfield from the Western Slope. Tied at 2-2. They'll play a fifth game. Doherty beat Cherry Creek in 5A. Or they beat Highlands Ranch, 3-2. Cherry Creek beat Mount Vista, Mount Vista, or Mountain Vista, 3-1. They'll play in the semis later. And there's a tap across by Stewart. Parallel to the net. On a cut shot there with a little tap. And it goes. And the match is tied again at 23. Or the game is tied at 23. And here comes Taylor Holland. The serving ace for the Lions. 23-23. In game two. Our fifth tie. Here's Karsten. Setting Campbell, dug out by the Lions. Chance for the point. Stewart, big hit, dug out, back row by Karsten. Peonia with the opportunity. Down the line and off the line it goes. For Carson Pfeiffer and now Swink one point away from going up two games to none. Holland on the serve. Knuckleball serve across. Karsten back sets. Her sister. Great sliding dig in the back row by Tatum. Tapped over by Stewart. Finds the open spot. Point. Game. Swink. And they're up two games to the. It wasn't easy. But they get the win in game two. After winning game one, 25-20. They win game two, 25-23. They try for the sweep when we come back to the Coliseum on TV in the 2A State Volleyball Championships.
And the beat goes on for Swink. Only have lost six sets. And there are 23 wins this season. Two of them yesterday to Sangre de Cristo going five games before moving on to this point. With a chance to win the pool and the move on in the semis. Paonia 23-4 and four after a three-game sweep of Sangre. Have lost the first two here, 25-20 and 25-23. Sarah Tatum on the serve. Paonia knocks it across. The pass right on top. The joust knocked back over by the Eagles. Lions bump it backwards across onto the Paonia side. Here comes the set for Sierra. Karsten takes a big rip at it and it goes long. One to nothing, Swink in game two. Paonia started with a 4-0 lead in game one. Swink with a 6-0 lead in game two. Or game one, that is. Paonia with a 4-0 lead in game two. But Swink has won both. Here's Estrada. Bumped over by Tatum. Free ball opportunity for Paonia. Chance to tie here early. Blocked at the net. By Lindsey Tatum. 2-0 Swink. Tatum with a solo block. 2-0 Lions. Pena with the serve and tipped across off the deflection. Swinks way. 3-0 Lions. Well, that pass looked like it almost hit the pole. Three nothing as Otis has just defeated Norwood to move on in one A. They'll go to the semifinals. Off the block for Easton Hardigan, and the point for Paonia, and they get their first serve opportunity. Hardigan had four kills in that second game. Easton did for Paonia. She's a five-seven sophomore, but boy, she can jump. Sierra Karsted on the serve, coach's daughter. Serve into the back row. Bumped up by Maddie Stewart. Here comes Estrada running from behind her setter. Nice long hit. Cross court dug out by Peonia. Back to the swing side. Another chance. Here's Tatum with a big rip. Goes off the block. Then block goes out of bounds. Point for swing. Tatum has got her first kill of game number three. Also has a solo block. And it's 4-1 Lions. Tatum will serve. Here's the back set at the net. Cross court winner. Morgan Hardigan. 4-2. Swink. Her first kill of game number two. And the Lions will defend the serve. Here's the set. Stewart takes a big rip. Goes long. Outstanding basketball player as well as Madison. 4-3. Swink by one. Paonia a chance to tie here. There were five ties in game one. The last at 15 all before Swink won at 25-20. Five ties in the second game. Last at 23 before Swink was able to get the last two points and win at 25-23. Here it's 4-3 and here comes the hit. Cross court winner for Taylor Karsten. And our first tie of game number three. 4-4. Four, four. Morgan Hardigan serve. Floats long and out of bounds. 5-4 swing. Here comes their serving service extraordinaire. Taylor Holland. Where's the number two on the back of her maroon jersey? Spins it across. Karsten setting up. Pfeiffer and Pfeiffer goes long. 6-4 swing. Six to four Lions. Trying to make it a three-game sweep. Looking for a semifinal date. Oh, big strong serve. Bumped right back over. Free ball opportunity. Touched at the net. Bumped at the net. Another bump set. This time for Stewart. Double block. Down for Peonia. Hardigan there with Karsten. That would be Easton and Taylor, and it's 6-5 on the double block. 
Off the hit by Stewart. Chance to tie here for Peonia. Stewart, half volleys it across. Dug out. Sierra Karsten back sets her sister, and Taylor goes off the block on a cut shot. And we're tied. Second tie of game number three. Second kill for Taylor here in the game, and Peonia's tried that a number of times, that little soft serve, and it barely gets over. And it did not get over that time as it stays on their side of the net. 7-6 in favor of Swink. Gallegos checks in. Set over the tape. Great sliding dig by Stewart. She gets the bump set. Knocks it on the Peonia side. Here comes the swing by Pfeiffer, and down the line she goes. It's good. Oh, the official said it was long. Looked like she pointed down. And they give it back to Swink with the point, 8-6. to six. Had to make sure that's what she was calling. Here comes Campbell into the double block and down on the Peonia side. Actually, it was four hits, did not get it across. Nine to six, Lions. Gallegos getting instruction from Heath Grantham. Soft serve. Karsten bumps it up. Back to Pfeiffer. Back to Campbell. And another four hit violation. Could not get it up and over the tape. Ten to six, Swink. Ten six. Here comes Karsten, back setting her sister, goes off the block, dug out by Holland. Here's Tatum setting up Roberson who takes a big hit, dug out in the back there by Easton Hartigan, and a lift is called on Paonia. Another point for the Lions, it's 11 to six. Eleven to six, and a timeout on the court. Swink with the lead by five in game three. Trying for the three-game sweep. 2A State Volleyball Championships continue in just a moment on TV. Back to the Coliseum, Jim Murphy, Taylor Gross, I'm Corey Ellen Ford. 11-6, Swink on top, on the serve. Campbell's hit into the net, another point, 12-6. Swink trying to move on to the semifinals. The Lions 2-1 last year, lost in the semis to Akron. Want to change that this year. Here's the punch set by Karsten. Lift is called on Swink, and it's 12-7. Ball back over to the Eagles on serve. The only tournament win in school history before yesterday came in 1983 for Peonia Volleyball. This is their first tournament appearance since 1990. And they're trying to do something that, that's not happened in school history. Get to those semifinals. A lot of work to do, though, right now for the Eagles. Down two games to none and down 12 to 7. And Stewart takes a pound at it and finds the back row. In front of the sprawling Easton Hartigan. Thirteen to seven Lions. Stewart will serve. Bumped up by Hartigan. Tipped over. Great dig by a sprawling Gallegos and Tatum. Stewart the save. Here's the set. Tatum pounds it. Oh, it just went past the back line. 13 to 8. Peonia with the serve after the miss hit. They're in game five. Gunnison in Bayfield. A 12-11 score. Match tied at 2-2. 
Here's the joust won by Peonia. They bump it over onto the swing side. Slam dink attempt by Sarah Tatum, and it finds the floor. Sliding was Carson Pfeiffer, pumped it in the air, and nobody went for it after that. Lions will take it. Lead it 14 to 8, and on serve. Leah Roberson back there and hits it cross court. Bumped up into the air. Karsten, free ball opportunity for swing. Up six, chance to get the point. Tatum takes a rip at it, into the block. Off the block. Sierra Karsten takes a half volley, and it goes into the back row. Dug out, back row hitting is Madison Stewart. Dug out by Peonia. They'll back set the front. Dug out by Stewart in the back row for the Lions. Here's Tatum again and goes long. 14 to nine. Peonia on serve. Trailing by five. Here's Tatum setting up her sister. Half volleys it across. Dug out on the ground was Karsten. Joust at the net this time won by Peonia. Karsten tries to tap it. Got it rejected by Jackard. Ball still alive on the Lions side. Here's Tatum setting Jackhart. Tips it over the block and down. Maddie Jackhart gets the winner. And here comes Heather Estrada in for Gallegos into the front row left. Sarah Tatum on serve for the Lions. Leading it 15-9. Two games to none in the match. Winner plays similar in the semifinals at 3.30. Big hit by Hartigan Easton. Dug out back row by Swink. Campbell digs it out for Peonia. Here comes Karsten with a big rip. Finds the line. Sierra Karsten finds the line over in that deep corner. Right behind Roberson. And it's 15 to 10. And Gunnison beats Bayfield 15 to 13 in 3-8. They'll move on to the semis. Big hit, double block at the net, dug out by Peonia. Back set at the net, double block again, and this time it goes down. No, a lift is called before the block. Peonia called for the lift, point to the Lions, and it's 16 to 10. It'll be Lindsay Tatum on serve. Tatum back. Puts it up and over her head. And it goes over the top of Karsten. It's going to be a free ball opportunity for Swink here. Leading it by six in game three. Here's the set. Stewart, big hit and down. Stewart's got her second kill in game number three. 17-10 Swink. Starting to smell the semifinals. Floater serve just over the net. Karsten sets up her sister. Punched out. Dug up by the Lions. Half volley for Stewart who tries to cut it along the net. Not able to do it. Falls harmlessly to the ground. Point for Peonia and the serve. And a service Miscue for Peonia, point to Swink, gets 18 to 11. And their designated super server, Taylor Howland, comes in. The freshman at 5'10", takes a swat at it, and it goes way long. A super server with superhuman strength there, and he hit it just a little long, did she? It's 18 to 12, and it goes back over to Peonia. Hardigan the serve, bumped up by Tatum. Free ball opportunity for the Eagles. Down six in game three. Campbell with a hit. Too far and long, and it's 19 to 12. Six points away from the Lions playing in the semis for back-to-back -back years. Gallegos will come into the match, and she'll serve. Where's the number six on her maroon jersey? Lefty throws it up, wafts it up, and just out of bounds. Looked like it caught the line from up here, but we are a long way away in the nosebleed seats. 19 to 13, the point for Peonia and the serve. Stewart off the court, bumps it back to the other side. Great back bump over by Sarah Tatum. Free ball opportunity for the Eagles. 
The hit by Karsten is bumped up by Lindsay. Lindsay Tatum to her sister, bumped over by Stewart. Opportunity for Peonia. Shoot set on the far side, down the line they go, and it's off. Out of bounds. The hit taken by Carson Pfeiffer and the point for Swink, and it's 20 to 13, five points away. Madison Stewart on the serve for the Lions. Serve. Bumped up by Easton Hardigan. Karsten to Karsten. Bumped up and out of play as it goes off the back net. Hardigan gets the kill. It's 20 to 14. That was Morgan. Her second kill in game three. Substitution. Holland comes back in, replacing Jack Hart on the left back row. And here comes the serve. Gallegos bumps it up to the setter. Here's Tatum. Back sets the front. Robertson with a hit. Dug out in the back row by Peonia. Karsten tries to loft it over the block and does. Goes off the blockers who weren't playing for the tip. And only got a piece of it. Peonia gets the point. And it's 20 to 15. Taylor Karsten on serve. Bumped up by Gallegos right over the top of the net. Slammed back down by Campbell. Dug out by Swink. Here's Lindsay Tatum takes a big rip. Blocked at the net. Another big hit. Blocked at the net this time by Abby Campbell. She goes out prancing with the high legs. Happy about that block. And it's 20 to 16. And Swink wants to talk about it. We'll let you think about it as well. 20 to 16, Swink leads two games to none. They're up in game three when we come back to the state. Two A volleyball championships from the Coliseum on Chassis.tv. Back to the Coliseum. Adams State University, where K-12 educations can meet licensing requirements and earn advanced degrees through Adams State distance learning. Check them out at exstudies.adams.edu. Here's Tatum knocking it over to the Paonia side. 20-16, to 16, swing the four-point lead. Five points away from a three-game sweep. Tatum knocks it over. Eagles trying to erase that and send it to a fifth game. And Sierra Karsten's with a big cross-court winner. And it's 20-17. to 17, So the 20-13 to 13 lead is down to three. Replay coming up. Carson Pfeiffer with the serve for Peonia. Gallegos bumps it up to the setter. Sarah Tatum to Lindsay. Lindsay takes a swing. Double block. Saved at the net. Tipped over and down. Sierra Karsten again. 2018. Here's Pfeiffer's serve. Gallegos bumps it up. Setter's going to have to come get it. It'll be a back row hit from Stewart. Tipped up in the air, set the middle. Campbell knocks it over and down. 20 to 19. Timeout swink. From 2013, now within a point of tying. Adam State, Colorado Farm Bureau Insurance, and College in Colorado, your sponsors of 2A State Volleyball coverage here on Chasta.tv. Of course, coming up next, the state semifinals in 2A. Lutheran and Akron set to go at 2 o'clock. Simla plays the winner of this match in the semifinals after that one. 20-19. Peonia down two games to none. We're down 20-13 and trying to 
scratch and claw their way back. And hand swink, another set loss, which really hasn't happened all season. They lost twice yesterday, Sangre de Crystal, after having lost four in 22 wins coming into that match. They had to go five games to beat Sangre de Crystal, and now up two games to none, but in a dogfight here in game three. Slam dinked over, dug out, Paoni with a chance to tie. Here's Campbell to hit, down! We're tied! Everything going right now for Peonia. Our first tie since it was 6-6. Six to six, And our third tie here in game number three. Seven in a row for the Eagles. Down the line as Roberson puts it into it right there emphatically. Got a great set right off the net and pounds it straight down the line in front of her. And Swink has retaken the lead at 21-20. to 20, And let's see if that's the momentum they need. Roberson will serve into the back row. Set up front. Here's Karstens with a big rip. Roberson with a big dig. Right back to her, and Robert Karsten puts it down. Well, Sierra got the first rip. Great dig in the back row by Roberson, but she overpassed her setter, and Karsten puts it down. 21-21. Peonia on the serve. Here's Tatum goes cross court for the winner. And now who's better than who is right now as each team taking full swings. Lions back up one. Sierra Tatum on serve. Knuckleball into the back. Too close to the net. Tapped and down for Lindsay Tatum. An overpass from the back row of Peonia. Swink takes advantages of it as Lindsay Tatum touches it down. And a timeout for the Eagles. 23-21. Two games to none. Swink with the lead. Two points away from moving on to the semis. And we come back for the Denver Coliseum and the 2A State Volleyball Championships on TV. We come back to the Coliseum. In case you didn't know, Obama won Florida. USA Today just sent me across my phone. How many days ago was that election? I guess he'll take those 29 electoral votes out of the state of Florida, finally. It's been decided, folks. 23-21, not decided here. Block, double block by Swink at the front line. Peonia is able to tap it back. Free ball opportunity. Here comes the bump set. Tatum over the top of the block. Peonia with a chance. They'll tip it into the back row. Swink with another opportunity. Here's Tatum. Sets her sister. Pounds it down. Lindsay Tatum with a full rip and roar. 24-21 Swink. One point away from going to the semifinals. Sarah with a serve. Floats it into the front. Sierra Karsten. Back sets. Tipped over. Lindsay Tatum saves it. Here's the opportunity. Bump set. Tatum again. Dug out by Campbell and Peonia. Tips it over as Sierra Karsten. Another opportunity. Bump set to Lindsay. Over the block. Right on top of the tape. And out of bounds. Point swing. They're going to the semifinals. 25-21. Swink wins in a three-game sweep. Winning the first 25-20, the second 25-23, and the third 25-21. Swink improves to 24-2 on the season. Peonia and Krista Karsten end their second trip to state with a record of 23-5. Congratulations on a great season for the Peonia Eagles. One o'clock, we're set for the semifinals. The first one coming up at two, and that will have... In class 2A, Lutheran against Akron. Last year's state championship match. This year, in the form of a semifinal. And maybe they aren't going to start at 2. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like they might start earlier as they keep rushing this. 
but 3A is already on to its semifinals. No other classification is even close. So Simla will play Swink in the second semifinal, Lutheran and Akron in the first. We take a break, come back and check with us in about 15 minutes, see if we're ready to go. If not, we will probably go as advertised at 2 o'clock, but right now it looks like we're going to go in another 15 minutes. Lutheran and Akron in the state 